Hey, no need to get up now, sweetheart. I'll let myself in. Thanks, doll. Hello, uh, welcome, Mr. Uh, fan. Uh, please, take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you, sir. And let me just say right off the bat, what an honor it is just to be in your presence. You're an icon in the field and have been a personal idol of mine for many years. So even being in this office really is a dream come true for me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Watch out. There's a silver tongue on this one. Don't listen to what everyone tells you, Mr. Fan. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> but really, I I'm no different from you. Sure, I run a multi-million dollar organization and have helped countless men get out of their own way and seize the love life they so desperately crave. But really... I'm just your average Joe. Oh, with all due respect, sir, I don't think any average Joe could make the cover of Play a Magazine a dozen times over their professional career. <laughs> <laughs> I did do that. I did do that. Uh, but I see you've done your research, eh, Mr. Fan? You know what? I've got a good feeling about you, Derek. May, may, may I call you Derek? Of course. All right. I can already tell you've got a good head on your shoulders, Derek. You're smart. You've got the looks this line of work calls for. And you definitely know the fine art of ego stroking. Please, you're making me blush. <laughs> oh, come on. I know I'm not telling you anything you didn't already know. Now, if you'll indulge me for a second here, there's a few things I have to go over. Just your basic company introduction BS. I have to get it out of the way before we can get down to brass tacks here. Please, go ahead. Well, I'm sure, as you know, the Johnson Company specializes in the business of date coaching. We assign each of our specially trained and capable employees to the men that seek out our service. Men who, well, to put it bluntly, are... Class A schmucks, guys who have all five of the S's. That's shyness, stammering, sweatpants, mustard stains, and truly unfortunate smells. Yeah, uh, as you probably noticed, you got to expect the worst if you work here. The smell of these losers tends to linger around the office. It's, it's particularly pungent today. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, I know just the type of guys you're talking about, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> In fact, I used to be one myself. Well, if that is the case, you have made quite the transformation, Derek. Hopefully, you'll be able to bring your talents to our company. For, again, as you know, our goal is to take these hopeless buffoons and turn them into competent, successful lady killers. We aim for a three-part transformation process in which we completely turn their physical, social, and emotional lives upside down and inside out. Are you up to the task, Mr. Fan? Do you really think that you, of all people, are capable of bringing about this seemingly impossible task on the segment of society the Y chromosome is most ashamed of? Of course. You know, I totally know what these dudes are going through. I'd be teaching through experience. I mean, just look at this picture of the old me. Oh, 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 oh. I've never seen a man so cross-eyed. Although I must admit that the colors of your Garfield t-shirt did nicely match your rascal scooter. <laughs> See? The seeds of a fashionable, satisfying life were always there. They're there for everyone. They, they just need the right type of encouragement to blossom. I'm the encouragement your clients need, Mr. Johnson. Derek, you've got me sold. Truly excellent, inspiring stuff. Uh, but before I can hire you, there's just a bit more detail we've got to get into. As you know, all employees of the Johnson Company must have a nickname, a nom de plume, if you will. Well, this is just perfect. Uh, most people don't even call me my real name. Ever since college, I've almost exclusively gone by the Slipper Man. Oh, the Slipper Man, huh? Yeah, I love it. It's hip, it's smooth, it's got that certain je ne sais quoi we strive for here at the Johnson Company. All right, you're covered on the nickname, Slipper Man. <laughs> Perfect. Next, uh, we like each of our employees to abide by the standards and protocols we've developed over the years, and but we also like to give them a little leeway, you know, some some room for our date coaches to insert a bit of their own personal flavor to their clients, uh, their own special something. Yeah, I guess it's a go-to move, you could say, that each of our coaches try to impart to their clients. They take something that has worked for them, and they make it work for others. So, last question, Derek. What is your special something? The Slipper Man's own... <laughs> Personal trademark. Well, funny you should ask. Oh, dear God. Soak them in, my friend. People rarely get this close a look at them. Derek, this... This is completely repulsive. Oh, your name certainly makes sense now, I suppose, but... But I can't even tell where your foot ends and the slipper begins. Uh, hey, these slippers turned my life around. My slippers gave me a reason to finally get out of bed in the morning. I remember 23 years ago today, in fact, I put my foot in these slippers and I knew 
that I deserved more. Since then, I've cleaned up my act, taken care of myself, and the ladies have loved it. Derek, I have not heard a word you've said. I'm finding it extremely hard to focus with your feet on my desk. <laughs> Can't take your eyes off them, can you? Trust me, this isn't the first time. Derek, these slippers, if you can even call them that, they offend me on every conceivable level. It appears that the fibers of the slipper have, well, they've grafted to the soles of your feet? It's just hideous. Ooh, no one's told me that before. And the odor, my... God, that horrible stench. It's like living downwind from an Arby's. It's it's like taking a tour of a hog rendering plant. It, the smell is... Oh, God. Put your feet down. Put put them down. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Well, quite frankly, neither do I, Derek. It appears that you are somehow under the impression that these slippers serve as the key to your success with women. The reason that you've... Well, turned your life around, as you put it. Well... I, I always just assumed it was the slippers. And you so. said you've worn them for, my God, how long? 23 years. That is insanity. The mere thought of that makes me want to flee the room and get as far away from you as possible. You must realize, Derek, that people do not generally wear slippers for more than a few hours at a time. Well, yeah, I... And, and yet somehow, you not only continue to engage in this uh, perverse, antisocial, disgusting behavior, but you're under the completely misguided belief that, in some twisted way, this would benefit others? That this is your ace in the hole that you'd, you'd be bringing to the Johnson Company? This is how you've gotten countless women? Well, I... Uh, uh, yeah, well, you know... Uh... Derek, let me guess... You have had very, very little success in achieving sexual congress, haven't you? I have not. What is that exactly? 